der Dirigent, der heute gekommen ist. Und ich habe also viel mehr Zeit bekommen, dass ich da
Peter, Peter would be standing in front of me, Cynthia would be. Uh, <laughs> so um, that's uh, in Zagreb. And there was actually uh, um, the critical upgrade, a symposium with the Goethe Institute in Zagreb that happened a few weeks ago. And we also had some kind of small Litzna uh, meeting there, which was mostly about disseminating information and not doing things, which was what we did here. And there's uh, Akos from Radio Tilos from um, Budapest. And we decided that we would possibly invent some leads now, which is this very small wire thing that can be used to fix everything <coughs> electrical, that we possibly invent the golden leads now for each meeting. And um, I vote for Akos for these three days to actually take the golden leads now with him back to Budapest. He's been very active on this. Radio Tilos is uh, uh, currently mostly in that uh, a net based radio, but its chances are good to go back on the air, and they also have a place attached to this. Then there is still defragmenting the space. Is the Kuda out from Nubiza? So, Mensch Kuda? No, just Kuda. Just Kuda, right. Um, and the page looks great, but it needs a calendar, that's what we have. To and um, <laughs> there were three people who were working uh, on this project as uh, Violetta, who were there, if you want to speak, I would know with that. And Edward, and there was also Gordon, who isn't here anymore. And then there are also two people now, whom I won't introduce because they just came here to celebrate. You know, so they didn't do much. Work. So these are basically the four institutions to, to be Litzna at the starting point. Actually, about page. So there's one page that we established. It's basically leadsna.net, which is a starting point for trying to put together the activities of the individual institutions. Because personally, what, what impressed me about all of these different institutions is that I had the privilege to travel a lot. I had the privilege to not need much visa apart from career um, to actually see these institutions. And it was quite interesting to see how similar these uh, ideas are, at the same time, how different the developments and so on are in these different institutions. So, one idea we had to begin with is to say let's make something practical which every institution can use, which mediates their own programs to the public, but which also allows. Uh, the institutions to basically find one central entry point to all the events and projects and um, exhibitions, screenings, talks, like now, <coughs> how these things are going on. So, to give you an example, at uh, MAMA, for example, in Zagreb, you already see the very simple idea of making some kind of calendar that would allow people to go to MAMA and see what's on. Very simple idea, something that you also have uh, if you go to Rex. We also have um, this idea of an online calendar where you can see actually the events of what's going on, on uh, in Rex. Tilos is a different story altogether. There's a very, um, you need to understand their thinking to get into the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> and then for CUDA, there's currently a restructuring. So CUDA were very interested in also possibly thinking about how can we implement something to bring our events to the public. So the first idea is kind of starting point for the Litzna network as a concrete place, a virtual but very real place, was to say that we want some kind of calendar where people can share their events. So if I go to litzna.net, that is the idea now. What I will get is basically these decentralized institutions participating in Litzna, bringing together all the information of what it is that's happening. And firstly, for some cases, this might not be very uh, practical because you can't go for a screening, you can't go to uh, Zagreb and try to commit to Zagreb to see some screenings. But the idea also was that more and more of the events which are being happening are also being archived, which are accessible through the internet. You can research these online archives. And also, many of the activities have some kind of online environment so that in an institution like Rex, you might well possibly walk in here to view some online event that happens in Zagreb. And it's always funny to so show something happening, but it actually happens in real time because we said, okay, we need to present this now, and we finished it. And you can see very simply here a calendar, 
And to start off with, this is today. You see brackets, everything that is uh, blue is a day where there are some events scheduled from one of the participating organizations. And down here you can see us. Whereas this should say 2020, but it says 8 o'clock. And very simply, the idea was that to start with, I have the possibility to find out what's happening at that stage. And that's not only for the public, but it's also for the participants. So for example, Katharina from Rex goes to Litzna and has the chance to just go to another week, let's say the 29th, and see if we get something happening at Rex. There's a lot of Rex. Twenty <laughs> first. <laughs> 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 sorry. So here. So the idea here is uh, fairly straightforward to have some kind of possibility to get an overview of all the activities that these established institutions are bringing to the region. Yeah. And if you go to the yearly calendar, everything that's co colored is something that actually holds some kind of date for that place, yeah, for, for the lead standard. So here we have some cooler. Hermann Nöring is speaking, I don't know the guy, but he's in Omnibus. So the first step for Lipton was very practical, providing something that allows all uh, events to come together. And what was also important to us is to make something that does not require additional work. It sounds a little bit unidealistic, but the experience is that any kind of networking activity that requires additional work most likely to not go very far after it's stuff. So to give you an example here for uh, for the Rex again, I already opened the Rex calendar. And basically what happens if I go through this calendar on the Rex side, this is also generated using the Litsnet software. And I do not want to go into details about the software, but just show you how it would work. The idea now is that um, what we have provided is basically, and in fact we have simple as possible with it, we provided some tools for each institution, something that the Goethe system is doing manually at the moment, so if you want to join this study, it might be easier for to maintain the Goethe side as well. But the idea is to actually go through some back entrance into your website and have an easy way to include um, events into your uh, calendar. So for example, this is the back entry for CyberX. So CyberX you can see here, for example, on the 15th of June. This is the publication, which I could now modify. And if we go... So basically what comes up here you can see is that information on leads. <coughs> what we have here also is that information actually on the CyberX calendar. So the idea is that each institution has a back entrance, like this one, where they can um, go to a specific date, or they can actually start planning everything that happens this year. They can possibly fix it something into the 13th of November place some event in there, save it, and it will automatically appear on the local calendar. So the first step is something that is very simple for each institution to help to maintain the public acceptance. And then on a second level, and that's the beauty of it, on a second level, all the contribution from the local networks will be adding up to the larger interface on Lipsner.net. So automatically once a day, this is, this is done all by the server itself, so there's no additional work, where Litsnanet is collecting all the different information. So the idea at this, for the near future would be that Litsnanet becomes also some point of research where somebody who's, for example, curating some video screening here in Belgrade might, and that's the next thing to implement, might start searching Litsnanet for other screenings, other events which happen at the part institutions. And by finding someone that might match the local program, 
I should try to establish a content and exchange in order to bring the institutions together first. And I have nothing else to say about this from, from this level, so I guess that um, I would open this up for questions. And I guess that most of the questions might not be answered by me in a very elaborate way. It might be better that the people speak for themselves and what might be next step. Because it was, it was always clear for us that we want Blitzner to be something that is about collaboration and networking, but something that sets a starting point, which is this, which is actually useful and maintainable. You know? <laughs> And I feel that things aren't much clearer than many yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good day. Um, yeah, I think it was the beginning a little bit of an effective process to say we want this to be solid and when it works we then can In terms of joining this, uh, there's two things, one is software and the other one is exchange. And uh, one, one help from uh, Ljubljana, the media group Ljubljana, they were also, we met them also in Zagreb actually at the last meeting. And they were interested in joining us, but on uh, that side as well. They only need to use it. But to become part of this and the information provided, you need to run this piece of software and then everything is automatic. But in terms of this and that, there's already an exchange going on. So there's already a lot of information. And you can I guess the, what, what we did so far, if you want to have a look at it, I guess these are all online. Go to the computers and play around with it. The, um, the situation is that what we did over the past three days is install everything and feed as much as we have. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.